In this video, we are going to show how to set up three different message instructions to read two consecutive module registers, write to a single module register, and read the entire 21 register ZPA input assembly. For all three of these examples, we have created an ERSC module in our Ethernet tree using our EDS file. Please see the previous video in this series on how to install our EDS file and create a module. What we want to do here is read the module's diagnostic data from registers 40088 and 40089 and put that data into a single double integer controller tag. Place the message instruction on a rung and enter a name for the controller tag that will control this instruction. For example, we are calling it read status. Now that the message has a controller tag created, we can configure the instruction. The message type is SIP generic. The service type is get attribute single. The instance happens to be the starting Modbus address we want to read in the module, so we enter 88. The class is 64, and the attribute is 2, which is the number of registers we want to read beginning with 40088. Now let's create the tag we want to put the data into. Type in the name and create the tag with the data type double integer. The data from 40088 will go into the high word of this tag and the data from 40089 will go into the low word of this tag. On the communications tab, select the ERSC from the ethernet tree. Click apply and OK and you're done. What we want to do here is write a new motor speed value for the left motor on the module, which is at module register 40040. Place the message instruction on a rung and enter a name for the controller tag that will control the instruction. For this example, we are calling it write speed. Please note that we are not showing any logic to enable the message instruction, which is probably not the best thing to do. Please consult your Rockwell documentation on best practices for using message instructions based upon your particular processor and application. Now that the message has a controller tag created, we can configure the instruction. The message type is SIP generic. The service type is set attribute single. The instance happens to be the Modbus address we want to write to in the module, so we enter 40. The class is 64 and the attribute is 1, which is the quantity of registers we want to write. Please note that for ConveyLink's modules, the set attribute single message instruction is always limited to one register. You cannot write to multiple registers with a single message instruction. Now let's create the tag we will use in our program that will contain the new speed value we want to write to the module. Type in the name and create the tag with the data type integer. The data in this tag will be written to module address 40040 when the message instruction is executed. The source length value is in bytes, so enter 2 here because 1 integer equals 2 bytes. On the Communications tab, select the ERSC from the Ethernet tree, click Apply and OK, and you're done. What we want to do here is read the entire 21 register ZPA input assembly instance from the module and place the data into a controller tag integer array. Place the message instruction on a rung and enter a name for the controller tag that will control the instruction. For this example, we're calling it read ZPA. Now that the message has a controller tag created, we can configure the instruction. The message type is SIP generic. The service type is get attribute single. 
The instance happens to be the assembly instance value we want to read from the module, so we enter 105. The class is 4 and the attribute is 3. Now let's create the tag we want to put the data into. Type in the name and create the tag with the data type integer and then make it an array with 21 elements. When you select the destination element, be sure to select the first element of the array. The data from instance 105 will populate the 21 elements of this array. On the Communications tab, select the ERSC from the Ethernet tree. Click Apply and OK, and then you're done. To get access to all of our instructional videos and to receive notifications for new videos, please subscribe below to our channel.